to a Berg. Uh, you are really proud of this, of this um, coming to London to display your pictures. I think it's important that uh, that uh, those who uh, fought against the occupants during the Second World War yes. are remembered. Yes. And uh, I also think it's very nice to meet you at the Sun Church because it's a central place to, to uh, the Norwegians who were involved in the Second World War and also those who came from uh, Lofoten, Lofoten Ray. Kan du säga det i Norwegian, please? Ja, jag syns det är viktigt att uh, de som kämpat mot uh, nazismen under andra världskrig uh, minnes. För att hvis inte de hade gjort det så uh, hvis ingen uh, kämpar mot övergripare så, så får de hålla på. Ja. Yes. Uh, Och jag syns det är väldigt fint att vi kan göra det här med Sjømannskirken, som var et, et viktig møtested for de norske som var i England. Ja. Yeah. Og uh, just ask you a question. Ja. Yeah. Um, with regards to your artwork. Yes. Are your artwork continuing, or are you, are you now leaving this as your final display? Are you not sure? Um, I, I think it was uh, very nice to do a project together, together with the Seamus Church come back to this and uh, for the exhibition or for my work related to the Lofoten ride yes uh, I think it will continue and um, do you think that people will remember sometime your artwork in history do you think that they will think about because you are the only person who is doing something in London this year today at this special day you are you are probably the only person remembering the Lofoten raids, which is a very personal thing, isn't it? Well, uh, I think every artist's uh, ambition is to be able to leave something behind. But that's up for me to decide. It's, it's for yes. the future. For other, others to decide. Can you quickly, in Norwegian, introduce your artwork to anybody who might watch this tell us about what you have done and the efforts you have made to 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 make this happen can you tell us what you have done yeah please um, i have made a series of uh, 10 paintings uh, based on photos my relative uh, brought back uh, from uh, the second world war and his uh, participation in it uh, after the local raid and um, Paintings were first exhibited in Lofoten uh, uh, five years ago, commemorating the 70 years since uh, the Lofoten Rain or Operation Framework, as it has also been called. And now, yes. the 70, uh, uh, today, for the 75 years since the Lofoten Rain, for the volunteers came to, to London, yes. it's very nice to. Uh, to display the pictures here. Has this has this art event helped you to have more positive thoughts about your family's efforts in the war, in the Second World War? Has it helped you to to think to to have a better memory or better outlook about your efforts have made positive contribution? To Absolutely, and uh, also I, I, uh, I put it in the, in the context of the greater picture. Yes. Where it is important that you stand up against uh, uh, things like fascism. Yes. And, uh, racism. and uh, I think that uh, every small contribution is important. So today in London, you're a very special person making very special efforts for commemoration. And is it possible that just in, in Norwegian you can um, close out today with a message um, in Norwegian and possibly with brief mention of um, the importance of this, uh, of to, to Norway to remember across the sea with friends in London, the importance 
in Norwegian. Can you can you leave a little message, please, Bert? Yeah. Um, we must go see the Svalbardide or Operation Claymore, which is a very important event during the Second World War. It was a successful British military operation. Av med brittiska kommandosoldater, stött av brittiska snöklopper och eh, norska kompanilinjesoldater. Eh, och eh, det hade två viktiga effekter. Det ena var militärt bidrag till att överbevisa Hitler om att eh, han måste stationera många soldater i Norge. Ja. Och 400 000 soldater var stationerat här, så att de då senare inte blev brukt på Östfront och Västfront. På andra så var det en propagandamiss i Sverige, de visste att tyskarna kunde slås. Yes. De visste, visste norsk motståndsvilja. And just finally as well, do you, do you feel, um, have you been to London before, and do you feel that London is more of a special place for having done this today. Do you feel that that uh, London is significant uh, for you now, maybe? Absolutely. Uh, I have uh, come to London uh, several times. I like to to go and look at the monuments here of uh, yes. uh, great victories. Nelson to to uh, Wellesley and um, I uh, I think also that uh, in my relation to this this uh, has been strengthened and I Okay, thank you very much for your contribution and all the efforts you have made, which is much appreciated. And thank you for coming to London. And I also would like to thank you, uh, Stephen, for. Uh, taking part in this and uh, we also need to remember that this was a uh, uh, very successful effort from the, uh, the British uh, soldiers and it was successful. Your uncle, your great uncle, great uncle, your brother, your brother, he didn't have to get on the, on the Lofoten ship, did he? He didn't have to volunteer. He could have stayed where he was. That's true, uh, and also uh, my uh, my grandfather's nephew who also came, the, the two of them also came. He was too young and he was denied by his uh, grandmother to, to go, but he, when she wasn't uh, watching, he, he sneaked out and uh, went on board the ship. So, uh, to do, you, do you have a final, a final, I say a final one more time, a final thought about um, about anything you can say about your relative which makes you feel proud? Is there anything you can say about your relative that you think he's brave or you think that he made a, a unique or he made, a, he made an effort maybe not unique but that was something that maybe you might not do or you may do? It, the bravery is something that you have to find in yourself? I, I think uh, even though if uh, effort doesn't contain bravery or uniqueness, yes. uh, we have to remember that in war, but also in ordinary life, there are lots of things which could be better. And it's always possible to make an effort. And even, but of course in war, yourself which you take is, is larger yes and uh, the way we expect those who uh, make these efforts uh, also harder what do you think norwegian people looking at at something like this if they see it today what what do you think they will think about it what do you think that they will they look at your pictures do you think they will know what it is what the pictures are uh, yeah, I think so because uh, I've uh, written uh, an uh, explanatory text about it, and uh, I think uh, when it comes to art, it is 
one of the main things with art is that you should make people reflect. Reflect, yes. And I hope I can achieve that. And um, do, you, do you think, just the last question I suppose I ask you, I have you 10 minutes now on the camera, the last question I ask you really is just to think, what does your artwork say about the Lofoten people who came to London, 314 volunteer, the Norsk Frivili, what does it say about them? About them we say, uh, this uh, series of paintings says that uh, we acknowledge and respect your effort. Thank you, Berg.